I'm Ken Woods. You've just been listening to the first four bars or so of the Agnus Day from the Mozart Requiem, a work I'm conducting this week with the English Symphony Orchestra and the Academy of Music Choir at St. John Smith Square in London on the 24th of April. Now, the Agnus Day is one of three movements that Franz Zusmeier claimed to have written himself. Zusmeier, of course, completed the work and prepared it for publication. There is, however, so much going on in just these first four bars that I think it's hard to avoid the conclusion that Mozart gave us the concept and most of the execution. For instance, if you listen to the violin at the beginning, it's a sort of flowing, fluid cascade of semiquavers. To me, this gesture and the way it repeats in every bar sounds like music that is going in a circle. And there's a certain poetic poignancy about this because we're nearing the end of the piece. It is coming full circle. And if you listen to the pitches and hone in on the end of that figure, you discover something really quite amazing. The last five notes are F, E, D, C sharp, and D. Why is this important? Well, this is a backwards version of the theme that opens the entire piece. You hear it first in the bassoon, at the very beginning of the Requiem, white at the beginning of the journey. D, C sharp, D, E, and F. Now you hear it fast and backwards in the violin, over and over again. Once the choir comes in, it gets even more interesting. Uh, it's natural, especially when we hear music like this that's organized vertically, for our ear to hone in on the top voice, the sopranos, which really is not Mozart's most inspired creation. In fact, it's one of the reasons that some people have given credence to the idea that Zeusmeyer could have written it. They sing the rather forgettable line, Agnus Dei, Quitolis. It's fine, but it's not really one of Mozart's most inspired tunes. If, however, you listen to the basses, you discover something quite amazing. They sing, Agnus Dei, Quitolis. And those pitches are D, C sharp, D, E, and F. The theme of the entire Requiem played slowly. So you've got a fast backwards version going on at the same time as you've got a slow forwards version. And this theme, D, C sharp, D, E, and F, is an old hymn melody, the words of which are, when my final hour is at hand. Finally, there's one more fascinating little detail, which is the tenors buried in the middle of the texture sing, Og, Moose, De, E. That's D, A, E, A. And that theme appears almost every time that Mozart stacks the music in sort of bold vertical chords like this. Notably at the beginning of the Zonctus, holy, 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 the sopranos sing, Zonctus, Zonctus, D A E A. And they sing it much earlier in the piece, in the D A C E A, the Day of Wrath, Day of Judgment. D A S E A. It's an awful lot of information and context and meaning in just four bars of music. I don't think anyone but a master like Mozart could have pulled it off but you can decide for yourself on Friday. I hope to see you at the gate. Yeah.